What's up everybody, Doug Lane, Fast Lane Car Care. Back again, we've got a 2022 Honda CRV. Uh, I'm gonna show you how I do the back windows on these. Um, they're not complicated, they're not difficult really at all. A couple of things that somebody's gonna have uh, trouble with. I see this on a lot of other cars too, not just CRVs. Uh, the wiper arm and the spoiler. So let's grab a light real quick. Let's see if I can show you uh, what I'm talking about on the spoiler or whatever you want to call it. Uh, might not even, might not work all that well. We'll see. So on the CRVs are not too bad. Our border, our border is right here. Our borders right here and our spoiler is like this there are a lot of other models where your border is going to be up in here it gets really difficult to uh you know get your film up in there cut your top and all that stuff um main reason i want to show you this wiper arm how i deal with it <clears throat> a lot of people a lot of people will take like a some kind of tool or whatever and stick it in there and that's great However, it's just propping this up, and so it's still kind of a pain in the butt. I'm gonna show you how quickly you can do this. There's the most difficult part of the whole thing, getting this stupid thing off. Um, 10 millimeter, keep it already ready to go. I use a magnetic socket. I'm gonna sit that here. Now, being a 2022, this should just pop right off. Yep, it did. But if not, go ahead and get yourself a wiper arm puller. That'll save you. After a couple years up here, our stuff all uh, gets rusted up. Now, I'm just gonna leave this in here for later. Throw it right there. Uh. Well, we need tape measure. This is why I don't cut film until a customer gets here. Okay, a couple more inches. Originally, they were only gonna do the front two windows, and now they want the whole thing done and the strip. And if I would've just cut that off, I mean, it would've fit, but it's not the order I like to do things in. So, We'll just use a dryer sheet method like any other time. And just give it a quick mist. You don't even really need that much, but. I'm all out of 24 inch rolls. So we gotta use the 36 today. We're using a Helios Orbit. They just wanted the basic stuff. Dyed film, still lifetime warranty film, good stuff. And now here's why I like to pull the wiper arm, because you saw it only took a minute, and I don't have to deal with this whole section right here. It's like it, it doesn't bother me. <clears throat> now, kicks and giggles. Let's go ahead and turn on our light. Okay, we're over here. We're over here. We're overlapping our top by plenty. Now we just have to worry about the bottom. So show you what I do. I push this down slightly and I just cut right around the, the wiper arm. Well, I guess it's the wiper arm motor. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. This little metal piece that the wiper arm goes on to. All right, so now that we've done that, that's gonna lay down flat but I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this excess off the bottom. 
I don't need it. Can't cut butter with this thing. This would be an easy car to use the Sharpie method on um, if you had a peel board and everything. Uh, let's see, let's cut it in half. Dude. Like, blades just aren't what they used to be. I'll tell you that much. What's up? All right, anyway. <clears throat> the boss wanted me. So, this will probably get me frustrated because um, I didn't wait for the dryer sheet to dry like at all, so it might be kind of fun. Might just pull this off. All I'm doing is just drying the, some of the excess moisture off of this. If you don't, it tends to want to stick and it's not wet enough. It's not wet enough to wet shrink, but it's not dry enough to dry shrink. That's what happens when you're impatient. So. Pretty simple. Just try to move that across. Still not perfect, but that's okay. <clears throat> Covered on all of our sides. We're gonna use this uh, scrap here to do our quarter windows. Yeah, just stay there. Ugh. Time to shrink. I don't know if you can see that, but it's basically it's touching up here, so it's not gonna lay down 100% perfect. That's okay. It's shrank past where we need it to be shrank. That's really all that matters.
All right, a couple little things. You might have noticed I did like over here. I put my card right here so I could shrink this part without having it pinch up on the sides. We're way good, we're way over where we need to be, so it's not gonna be a big deal, but. Uh, that's why I like taking that wiper arm completely off. It's out of the equation. We don't have to worry about cutting our film and then tucking it under. We don't have to worry about creasing it while we do that. It's just much, much easier in my opinion. I've done it both ways. Now, if it's an older car, then yeah, I won't. Uh... Like, is this thing even cutting? Like, what the heck? I snapped my blade a second time too. Let's just start over here and see what we got going on. Now it's cutting. I don't know what the deal is. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, if it's an older car, I won't do it because there's a good chance that it's gonna be rusted on there. And yeah, the wiper arm puller works pretty well, but sometimes it's just not worth the risk when you pop that cover off and it's just all one big rusted up mess. And it's just like, yeah. Just leave that, leave that mess alone. These you have a pretty good amount of border, so you don't have to be, you don't have to cut it super tight. You don't have to be super precise. I like at least make it look all consistent. So that way on the off chance anybody ever does check it out, it's not all zigzagged and all that stuff. So if you're having trouble up here, you can easily sharpie this, drop your pattern down and cut it. Um, I'm just a glutton for punishment, so we'll just try to do it this way. You could also stick this on the inside of the window and cut it if you wanted. You just gotta be really careful because you can scratch that ceramic, that black border. It will scratch, and if you scratch it, you'll have a light gap, like you'll be able to see daylight through it. Whenever you're cutting on the car, you wanna use just very little pressure. You wanna use just enough pressure to cut through your film, and that's it. You don't wanna scratch up anything. I want to scratch the glass. Stainless blades will still scratch. It's just a lot, a lot more difficult for them to do that. Go ahead and shut this for now. That's another reason why I don't really care to use these big rolls on SUVs and stuff. Real life here, guys, real life. All right. <clears throat> so I'll just use these doors as a peel board be really careful when you do this because it's got so much tension on it. If you, uh, you know, you get too carried away here, you can definitely crease your film. So I really just do the two corners. Boom. Pop this hatch. Oh, it's got the automatic hatch. All right, sweet. Turn this thing off. We'll need it here in a little bit. I like to take a couple towels. I like to take like an old bath towel. You can use microfiber too, it don't matter. But 
I like to do this right here. Solves two purposes, two problems. It's not gonna get me all dirty because it's raining and stuff outside, so this bumper's all filthy and wet. It's gonna keep me dry, keep me from getting dirty. It's gonna keep me from scratching the plastic of my hose or anything, or if I lean up against it, it's not gonna hurt anything. So, if you've watched my other videos, this is probably gonna be pretty boring for you because uh, it's basically the same thing. This blue scrubby pad. Make sure we get up in there real good. I like to just kind of overlap all my passes. I always use these steel wool scrubbies on back windows uh, with defrosters. Um, and then also uh, anything with dot matrix on it. It just gets this fine layer of rust and corrosion that most vehicles will have if they've, I mean, you probably won't be able to see it in this, but let's grab another light. See if we can do this. Can you see like kind of how dull this is and how shiny this is? So let's check this out. So look at, look at how this color coloration is if you get a car that's like a year or two old especially in this climate you can literally watch it change colors I'll take this orange towel show you how much crap comes off of there This is a brand new car, still got the new car smell. I haven't looked to see what the mileage is, but I probably won't be able to tell in video, but there's black all the way through there. And like I said, this is brand new. The older they are, the nastier they'll be. So that's why I like to do that. A lot of people ask me what slip solution I use. It's just a uh, member's mark Dawn, so Sam's Club knockoff Dawn. Uh, you can use regular Dawn. I've used it, I used it for a long time. It's just cheaper <coughs> to get a gallon of it at Sam's Club for like the same price as like one bottle anywhere else. So, Quick little mist just to get any kind of dust and stuff out of there. Something that might be a little bit fun to deal with is it's a little bit chilly today. That's why one reason why I've got the door shut. It's a little bit cooler than it's supposed to be. Well, for this season anyway. Yeah, don't judge me on that top top edge. She's a little wonky. <clears throat> Slip solution right in the mouth. Push these big bubbles out of the way. Make sure we got no light gaps. We do have a light gap up there. We'll just shift her around. We're good and covered all the way around. Double check, oh, no we're not. We got a little spot right there, so we just need to shift right there. Sometimes a tricky thing, especially if you're first starting out, like sometimes you'll get soap on an edge, and sometimes you can't tell, because there's like a bubble there, like soap bubbles. You can't tell if you have a light gap or if it's just soap. And then the crappy thing is, man, if you, uh, you don't check that, uh, beforehand and you start sticking it and it's too late
Okay, so now we've got all of our preliminary <coughs> squeegeeing done. Just missed it real quick. Now I'm gonna come across pretty hard. Really try to extract some moisture out. Got a little bubble there, our finger. This is the Fusion Hybrid Squeegee. It's pretty good. I like it. Um, I mean, it is what it is. I haven't used the blue side yet. I've heard some people say it doesn't really matter. It's like basically the same on both sides. I don't know. The, the cool thing about it is it's basically two squeegees in one. So. You nick the edge, you nick the, the one side and it starts making streaks on you and stuff. Just flip it over, switch to the blue. Now, got everything cleaned up here. Everything good to go. Uh-huh, no bubbles, no light gaps, no fingers, nothing's trying to pop up on me. Good to go. That's how you do a 2022 CRV. It's basically the same as I, mean, I don't know what however many years this body style is one thing i do like to do is i like to leave hatchbacks i like to leave the hatch up while i do the rest of the vehicle obviously water's going to run down in here and it's going to you know come out the drains but what i don't want to do is i don't want to shut this and then have water try to seep back in uh it's just kind of burnt me a couple times and yeah it was a long time ago um more so when I was just first starting out, but this is just how I do it. I mean, it's not going to hurt anything. Um, if you have something like this, you know, don't open up your garage door with the hatch open. But, uh, yeah, it's not going to hurt anything. We're going to do the rest of the vehicle. Thanks for watching.